we have 10,922 credits uh, with 51 and change. So, let's go buy ourselves a, uh, a power plant. Uh, I pull up my map here. What I'm looking for is a little rectangle. That, that right there is what I'm looking for. That's a transport ship for plants, and that's what I need. So I'm going to head this way until I find them. Okay, now we're really getting into the meat and potatoes of this game, and this is where things really start picking up, uh, relatively speaking. I mean, I've been playing for how long? Nine hours now? <laughs> oh, I certainly hope they fixed... I know they fixed this issue with the newest game, X3. X3 starts you off... No aim. X3 starts you off with a bang. I mean, you can start off as a fighter pilot and just go out as a bounty hunter right off the bat. That's very nice. Okay, there it is, right there. There it is on my radar, and you can kind of see it, but the sunlight there is kind of making it hard to see. Target now locked on to Lottie Albatross. There we go, the Albatross. Let's call him up and ask him to do some work for us. Captain to pilot, how can we obtain a profit together? Uh, I want you to transport something. Okay, that will be 500 credits for every gate we're passing. That's a special offer. Yeah, sure, we have a deal. Please follow me. You've struck up a good deal. We'll follow you and get our money at each gate. Woot. Okay, the next place we gotta go is the shipyard, which is right there. It's that funky-looking structure. Now, unfortunately, these guys move real slow. I'm not entirely certain what constitutes how close they have to be to you or wherever you're buying stuff for them to follow you. Target now locked on. Teladi Shipyard Alpha. I guess we'll find out together. He is following me. You can kind of see him sort of lagging behind me on my radar there. Oh, thank God for time compression. Once we get a faster ship, this is going to be harder because we're going to have to keep stopping for him every now and then. I can't keep up. There we go. Hey, shipyard, what's up? Okay, I'm pretty sure that guy's is close enough. This is the Teladi positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position light. You better hurry and open up, because I'm coming in now, whether those doors are there or not. And in we go. Successfully done. Yes, yes. All right. <coughs> Connection to local trading network established. Solar power plant. That's what I need right there. Solar power plant bought. All right. Solar power plants produce energy. You don't they say. Found everywhere in the so let's get out of here. Okay, so remember that crystal fab I was talking about? We're going to place it right next to that sucker, as close as we can get to the crystal fab. There's our albatross. Hey, buddy. Now it's going to take him forever to turn around. Let me see here. Where is the south gate? Ooh. I'll check my map. Um, it says it's this way. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Alright, let's head on out. Now you can kind of see in my radar that Albatross is having some trouble turning around. 
don't worry, it'll catch up with me eventually. I believe right now it's turning into the shipyard and getting my stuff. But it's not showing it as parked. Oh, there it is. It's that little block right there. Okay, well... Back into the gate we go. I'm gonna slow down for a little bit, let him catch up with me. I wonder what happens if I hit jump and I don't have any momentum. Hmm. I guess I'll find out. Ooh. No, this could work. It's like a that speed up slow down kind of thing it would be a good way for me to uh Okay, so what if I'm going in reverse and then I hit the uh the jump gate technology thingy. Let's see. We are scanned by Taladi Bat. Oh. Thank you. Say, could you take care of that, uh, that bad guy right up there? <laughs> he's, I can see him on my radar, and I hope to God he's not following me. Uh, okay, this music makes me nervous. Fuck it, let's get the hell out of here. I'm watching that guy on my radar. Split mule? What the heck is that? The mule is a versatile and functional split transporter ship that is capable of traveling great distances and carrying large loads. It travels mainly between the split and parent sectors, but has also been reported in some Taladi sectors. For obvious reasons, it is rarely seen in any sectors belonging to the Argon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the split and the Argon don't don't uh, get along at all. That was sudden. Okay, if we're really lucky, we won't be attacked when we uh, exit the Entering gate. system, greater profit. The uh, the Xenon, I think it is. They they like to spawn at the gates. All right, here we are. I need that crystal fab. It's just a little bit that way and down a little bit, I thought. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, if you watch the radar, our friends, the Albatross, should be uh, coming out pretty soon here. There he is. Let's go ahead and stop for him real quick. And I think you can stop faster by hitting reverse. I don't... No. I'm doing it that way so that the uh, time compression makes it a little bit faster for us to see him. Now I want these babies as close as humanly possible. Now, he might tell me something like, Well, you can't do that. That's too close. So, when that happens, we'll just back off a little bit. And it's real funky. Like, it's really funky how it decides to do this. I, I certainly hope with the new X games, they made it easier to place down your, your equipment. Let's stop here. Here's a good spot. This is where I usually go. Mostly because I'm, uh, I'm impatient. Target now locked on. Split mule. No, thank you. The albatross I want to lock onto. Target, tar target, target now locked on. Tiladi albatross. Captain to pilot. How can we obtain a profit together? All right, drop my freight here, please. We are unloading. Goodbye and make good profit. All right, here it comes. My very own power plant.
They are pooping out structures. Neat. Man, this game doesn't like to do anything quick, does it? There she is. There she is, guys. Target now locked on solar power plant. All right. Solar power plants produce energy. They are found everywhere in the known universe. Now it has and are operated and controlled by all races. It has 30 crystals. That is not nearly enough. And that's where the crystal fab comes. Tar 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 target now locked on crystal fab alpha. Now these guys might gouge us for prices. Let's crystal see. fabs produce many No, no, they're, they're not too bad. Crystals are important for the per crystals, but I want to keep at least a hundred with me so I can, honestly, so I can sell friggin' uh, energy cells. And shoot, I should have stacked up more money before I started doing this. And there we go. Now you still have to request the permission to land, even though if it's your power plant. All right, let's enter in our very own power plant. Heck yeah! Successfully docked. Welcome back to your solar power plant. Welcome back. This is my first time entering. I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, I've got some traffic already. Awesome. Very first local power plant. Network established. Okay. Energy cells are the unified energy. Shut up. Drop off everything. Crystals transferred. You need crystals. Crystals are And slowly this stock will rise as long as you have crystals. And I think I checked it as something like a hundred power cells for every crystal, maybe maybe more. Okay, this sets the price. Like, average. You can specify at which price other factories and their transporters can buy your product. If your price is competitive, it is more likely other factories and stations will choose your factory. This is totally correct. Now it shows here as the average credit 16. That is so a lie. And we've seen why it's a lie. Better to set this thing to like 8. New price selected. Uh, you can go like a little bit higher. Uh, I would not do more than 10 personally, but uh, eight's a good sp uh, starting price and a good way to suddenly get tons of uh, of credits to start off with. <laughs> 